Hello, welcome to QuoteWrite.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a travel insurance quote. First, we're going to start off by entering the number of travelers. We're going to put in two travelers. Next, it's asking for our date of trip departure. This is when we depart from our home on our trip. For this example, I'm going to put in May 11th, say, and our date of trip return when we return back home from our trip to our home. I'm going to put May 17th. 2007. Another thing you can do is click on this calendar icon and choose from this calendar, clicking on any date that you want. Next, it's asking for our country of residence. For this, ex this example, I'm going to put in the United States. And the last question I am interested in, this is important because it's going to decide what you're going to see when you get your quotes. So, looking at what we have to choose from. The first two, trip cruise or flight cancellation, and comprehensive travel coverage, will both quote package plans. So if you're looking for trip cancellation or trip interruption coverage to cover your trip costs in case you have to cancel, say for a sickness, unforeseen sickness or injury, you'd want to choose either one of these. And just quickly, the other ones are medical expenses. If you want just travel medical and medical evacuation coverage, um, you're going to get that with these and not much else. The next one's even more specific. It's for medical evacuation and repatriation coverage. Next one is flight accidental death. That is coverage for accidental death and dismemberment while in flight. And the last one is even more specific. It will quote all plans that will qualify for the insurance that's for um, people who are required to get a Schengen visa. Okay. For this example, we're going to choose trip cruise or flight cancellation because we're looking for trip cancellation and trip interruption coverage as well as medical and medical evacuation baggage. So let's continue on. On this next page, you'll see that we have the package tab highlighted as well as some of the information are already pre-filled from the form before. We already have our trip departure, our day of trip return, and our country of residence. Next, we'll have to enter in our state of residence since we are in the United States. For this, I'm going to choose Connecticut. Next, it's asking for traveler's information. Here, we can add a traveler or remove a traveler if we don't have the right amount of travelers here. But going on, we have two travelers. That's what we want. We're going to put in the age of the first traveler. Now, it's important. I'm going to put in 35 here. It's important that you put in the age as of today see this as of today because if you don't and you go on and you buy a plan that asks you for your birth date if the birth date and the age does not match it's going to stop you right there and you're going to have to come back here and requote with the correct ages so again please put in your age as of today all travelers ages as of today when you do the quote okay next going on for this example, I'm going to say I'm going on a Caribbean cruise and it's costing me $800 per person for the cruise and $400 per person for the airfare. So that's a total of $1,200 of prepaid trip cost for this primary traveler. Next, the second traveler, I'm going to put in age of 34 and $1,200 as well. Another way you can do your trip cost is using this trip cost calculator. You click here and it'll pop up a window and you can fill in all your prepaid arrangements. It'll add it up for you and then split it evenly between all travelers here. Next, going on, trip destination. From here, you want to pick the general region of where you're traveling to. For this example, we're going on a Caribbean cruise, so I'm going to choose the Caribbean. Next, it's asking for a trip type. Now, you have three options here. If any part of your trip includes a cruise, you want to choose cruise. If you're just insuring the airfare, airfare only, ch choose air only. And on the last one, if you have an air and land package or a land tour, anything other than having a cruise or you're just insuring your airfare, choose other. For this example, I'm going to choose cruise. And the last thing we're going to fill out here is the date of first trip payment. This is a date that we made our first trip payment for the trip, whether it be a deposit on the cruise or paying for the airfare or when we made a hotel arrangement, whatever you did first. For this example, I'm going to choose the calendar icon and I'm going to say that I made my deposit for the cruise on April 4th. And you can ignore this last one, country of citizenship. We don't need to fill it in. Okay, let's go on. 
Okay, on this page, we can see we're still on the package plans, quoting package plans. We have 24 matching plans according to our quote. Here we have a list of all the information that we entered in our quote, and we can requote it if there's anything wrong here. Here we can sort the result set by changing the sort plan by this drop down list and then clicking on update results. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is because it's listed by price. So the cheapest is up on top all the way to the most expensive, which is down the bottom. Now on this list, the total policy cost is for all travelers we quoted. So this price here, $96, is for two travelers total. Um, and the same for all the rest of the plans. Here we have per person limits listed for medical and evacuation. And each plan shows you how much. The two here means it's secondary coverage. Here we have policy limits. So this lists the trip cancellation and the trip interruption limit for the whole policy. So this policy will cover $2,400 total for all travelers on the policy as well as trip interruption. Okay, from here you can click on buy now for any of the plans that you want to buy if you so choose right now or if you need more information you can click on details for each individual plan or if you see a couple plans that you're interested in and like to see them side by side you can click on the checkbox check them off and then click on this compare button so you can compare the plans side by side so that brings us to the end of showing you how to do a quote on quotewrite.com. Hopefully this showed you how to go about doing it. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call or email us. And our contact information is up here. Or, if we're open, you can click on this and get a question answered right away on our live chat. Okay, thank you very much and take care.